everybody, it's Camille from Chicken Scratch and Sniff. Today we're talking about four more ideas for how to teach Howard W. Hunter chapter 24, which is all about following Jesus Christ. Now, this lesson, of course, is great for Christmas time, and even more so, it ties in so well with the church's new campaign, which is to light the world. So, my first suggestion is to absolutely use the light the world resources that the church provides. There's a main video that would be a perfect way to open up your lesson and um, to just show it at the beginning and then talk more about Christ and how um, the people in the video and the scenes of Jesus Christ apply and how we can follow them. Because this lesson is all about the application, how we can follow Jesus Christ, how we can be like him. So the more ways that we can show and think about how we can actually apply these teachings into our lives, the better. Okay? So... Show the main video. Um, if people don't know it or they want it, can't remember the address to where to go to, we do have these invites. They're free. You can just print them out. You can hand some of these out or have people hand them to other people that they run into so they can see this as well. Um, but then at the end, you can have a Christmas tree set up on the table and you can hang these star ornaments up. These are on the blog too for free. And what they say is, Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Okay, so we're going with that light the world theme, right? So I picked stars for a reason. There's two star handouts, okay? And it's for lighting the world. And so <clears throat> hand these out in the end, but at the end, tie it into the scripture in Matthew. Matthew 5, um, verses 14 through 16, where it talks about how you are the light of the world and that we're not supposed to hide the light and we're supposed to share it, right? And so Tie that into these stars, to lighting the world, and how we need to share that light and encourage and challenge people to do that. It's a great way to end the lesson and tying in the scriptures and Christ's life all together. All right, number two. In section three, it talks about our commitment um, to the Savior, how our salvation depends upon our commitment to the Savior. And it talks about, um, okay, so think about this. What are we willing to give, but... What are we willing to give up in order to let Christ in? So it talks about that in the manual a little bit. Letting Christ into our lives and making room for him, right? We, we think about the innkeeper story a lot. So what you can do, again, giving time for application thoughts, is there's these are also free. I've linked to them on the blog. It says, what will you give? But you can add, what will you give up? Hand these out. Play a nice little Christmas song or put that video on and have people just think for a minute. Like in general conference, there was the talk that talked about, you know, will you give 15 minutes up of your TV time so that you can have 15 minutes to read the scriptures instead? You know, and give a few examples. Say, I'm going to give up five minutes of uh, sleeping in to do something for the Savior instead. And so talk about what we can give up to make room because you know our lives get busy we squeeze things out that shouldn't be squozing out right and so we have to make room to let them back in and so i have time for that uh number three here's a fun one so again we're with the light the world theme <clears throat> so this one has two parts to it okay Every time someone gives an answer to your questions, shares an experience, shares a great thought, or even if you've asked a few people to share an experience about how they've served, how they've been liked to the world, put up one of these lit lighted tea lights on your table, okay? If you have a table in front or just whatever you can have, right? <clears throat> and then at the end of the lesson, you're going to hold this mirror down on the light. See like that? <laughs> you can see the foam there. Um, so it reflects that light back because at the very end of the lesson, it's the last paragraph here, it says, it is to see that our individual lives reflect in word and deed the gospel is taught by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So our lives should reflect that light, right? It should reflect that we are following Jesus Christ. And so at the end, you can tie that quote in to these lights, to the mirror, and that reflection that we should all have of that light. All right, last idea. Now, <laughs> you guys, I know I'm talking a lot about light the world, but it's just such a great message right now, and it goes so well with this lesson. Um, <clears throat> so every single day, it's 25 ways, um, 25 days and 25 ways, right? Or 
<laughs> flip it around. But 25 ways that we can serve. And each of those 25 days on Mormon.org, <clears throat> they give an example from Christ's life. And it says, like, um, Christ healed um, the blind. And then it gives us examples of how we can help heal the blind as well and what kind of service projects that we can do. But it has a scripture attached to it. And so what you can do is you can take some of those scriptures, all of those scriptures, whatever you choose to do, and break up into groups. So if you wanted to use all 25 scriptures, you would break up people into like groups of two or groups of one even, just so that you can go through them all. And you would have people read that scriptures. It's just a few verses. It's not very long. So it won't take very long. But as they read their scriptures, verses, they need to think about what attributes is being portrayed something that they would like to emulate in Christ's life, and how they can directly apply it to their lives. And, you know, you can have them go to mormon.org on their tablets if they have them with them, if they need more ideas. And then, before they present to the class, um, you might want to have just a couple present, depending on how many groups you have, or all of them present. You show that 30-minute video clip on that day. Every single day has a video clip. And so show that little 30-second video clip, have people present from their group, and just have time to be like, oh, I can do that. That's something that I can do in my life. That's the way that I can follow Christ. Because that's what we all need. We all just need, oh, I can do that. You know, it, tangible ways to make it up applicable into our lives. All right, you guys? Those are four more ideas. Of course, there's lots more on the blogs. And you guys are always great at sharing your ideas. So make sure you join our private Facebook group as well. Have a great week. And remember to light the world today.